explain. If it is not over yet, please uh, press uh, no. Can you uh, type in the chat window how much, how, how, what is the per percentage of uh, the code compiled? Okay, almost. Okay, that's fine. I mean, uh, let's wait for maybe two more minutes and then we will start talk, talking about those materials. That's okay. We can keep the code uh, running after that. Okay, um, so maybe someone is still compiling their codes, that's fine. Uh, I just want to see if everyone is back. Uh, if you are back, can you answer yes uh, in the reactions? Yeah, so if you're back, please answer yes, and then we get enough people back and then we'll get started. Actually, I wasn't sure when did I say take take a fifteen minutes break. That fifteen minutes break finished. Okay, thanks for letting me know.
Yeah, the other thing, Lipe, you should do is I think in in some versions of Linux, uh, you don't have the reaction button on Zoom. <clears throat> oh. So yeah, it may be possible that everybody cannot click it. Hmm. Maybe can those people type uh, in the chat window? You cannot click on yes. Okay, um, maybe let's get started. Let's see, how should I share this? Wait a sec. Hmm. Uh, what do you see now? Can you see the two screens? No, only the terminal. Now? Yes, I can see two screens. Yeah, now it works. Okay, great. Um, all right. Um, so uh, let me see. So, let, okay, let's get back to the hands on session uh, because some people are still compiling the, their code. Uh, we can uh, take a look at the exercise uh, first, okay? Before we before we git pull and get updates and then copy this hydro session scripts, uh, we can skip this uh, for now. Let your code keep compiling, and then uh, let's talk about those parameter files we are we will be using for this hydro session. Um, so this has been uh, discussed in the framework session. Uh, but we will focus on uh, what we use in Hydro. Uh, okay, so there are basically three files that are relevant for each modules. Um, for example, for music, uh, we uh, have three relevant uh, parameter files. Uh, okay, so first we have this uh, master. Uh, okay, maybe we, we can talk about this user XM L file first, okay? So uh, let me show you one example of this uh, user XML file. Um, okay, so this is a whole uh, user XML file um, example, okay? You can see uh, here we set number of events we will run using Jetscape. Um, this, here, in this case, is, there's just one event, and this is how to set random seed. If we choose the same value, then we will get the same results. Um, so this is uh, enclosed by IS is the uh, parameters for the initial state modules. Uh, so you can set the grid size in different uh, directions, X, Y, Z, Z is eta direction. So here we set grid max Z as zero. So that means we are only focusing on one slice at Z uh, equals to, Z is equals to, is equal to zero, okay? And then we will use, uh, so for this case, we are using Trento as our initial condition. Um, so we said, uh, we also can have some pre hydrodynamics. Uh, here we use this now because Okay, we, we, we are not using anything for this pre-equilibrium dynamics. So that means we will switch from Trento directly to Hydro module. Um, here we use music to run Hydro. Um, and uh, we set this freeze out uh, temperature here. Okay, so we only change the, basically those two parameters actually, grid size in Z and freeze out temperature. So this is, our user parameters. 
Um, there are, of course, a lot of other parameters that we, we don't touch now. Um, so they are, let me see what is. Okay, so then uh, they are all the other relevant parameters in this master XML file. Uh, you can see there are much more parameters. Um, whenever we uh, don't uh, touch those parameters, they will be uh, taken from this master default parameters. Um, you can see, for example, this is the initial uh, state grid size in all directions. Um, and those are the Trento uh, parameters, you can see. Um, here, you can set uh, collision systems, uh, center of mass energies, normalization factors, we will talk about this later, centrality cuts, um, some parameters about the uh, nuclear size, for example. These are the longitudinal parameters. Um, so when you set net zero values for uh, grid size uh, Z, and then you can tune in those longitudinal parameters as well. You can run, and then you get 3D initial condition. You can run three plus 1D evolution. Uh, so for, because of time, we, we don't, we want to run 3D evolution, uh, but we put it, this as a, as a homework. You can try this later uh, after you know how to run the, the framework. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> You can also read in uh, some uh, pre-generated initial condition profiles instead of using Trento. Um, so here, the, these are the hard processes. This, this has been discussed by uh, Chaturanga, or this will be discussed uh, more later uh, in the next sessions. Okay, and so we will skip this. Uh, this is not relevant to our soft sector. And then we can talk about this uh, pre-equilibrium dynamic modules. Um, so here, uh, this is when we start uh, everything. And uh, uh, this is where we switch from, for example, Trento to pre-equilibrium dynamics. No, sorry, this is, okay. So those two time, uh, they find a time interval, we run the pre-equilibrium dynamics, okay? This is when we stop uh, pre-hydrodynamics and then switch to hydro, okay? So here, uh, this uh, pre-equilibrium dynamics, uh, here we have this default free streaming module. Uh, um, and then hydro session, <clears throat> okay, hydro, uh, you can read in some hydro evolution profiles uh, pre-generated uh, or you can run uh, music instead. Uh, that is what we will be doing in this session. Uh, okay, so here we use music and then uh, some parameters. Okay, so here uh, initial time when we start hydro and then this is uh, something about what we want to output from the hydro evolution. Those parameters are about uh, how to parameterize shear viscosity, and this is how to parameterize uh, bulk viscosity. Uh, and uh, again, it's about the fr freeze out temperature and whether we want to do Cooper Fry freeze out. This is something uh, in detail, we don't uh, we don't change them. Uh, so um, okay, now uh, let's go back here. Of course, we I mean we talked about the user uh, file and the master file. Uh, however, you can see the master file doesn't uh, touch all the parameters of music. There are much more settings you can change. Uh, so they are uh, specified in this music input. Okay. Um, so for it, basically this is the case for any other modules. Uh, for example, uh, there is also a different uh, input file for free streaming, uh, which is here. 
Um, okay, so, so uh, for each module, we have three relevant uh, parameter files, master, user, and uh, some uh, input files uh, attached to each module themselves. Um, any question at this point? Okay, right. Um, if no, then let's move on. Uh, let me. Can I uh, have another poll? Uh, I'm sure I'll clear the current poll. Um, don't see that button anymore. Okay, now uh, it's clear, I believe. Can we uh, have people's uh, status of compiling their code? Um, if you are still compiling, can you just answer no? And if you are done, please uh, answer yes. That, that's great, thanks. If it's still compiling, that's fine. Please tell us. Hi, uh, Li Pei. This, yes. this is Ron. I finally, finally joined as, as, as chair. Mm -hmm. I'm just watching the time. It looks like uh, we're coming up on a break. How, just, how, how are you doing for time? Oh, right. Oh, gee. OK. All right, that's fine. OK, that's fine. We don't need to run this exercise. We can do it tomorrow. Uh, I think we are running out of time. Sorry, I forgot that. Um, let's just uh, make sure your code is compiled and then tomorrow we will run those exercises, okay? Um, let me see how much, we have three more minutes, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's talk about those uh, exercises briefly, okay? Uh, so tomorrow, please make sure you uh, Okay, pull the summer school materials. Okay, um, I think you downloaded it a few days ago. Now there are updates, so please get the updates and then um, copy uh, those scripts to the Hydro session by doing this. Okay, um, and then we are all set to run the other exercises. Okay, great. Um, we will run those exercises tomorrow. Um, so they are pretty easy to run, actually. We have all those input uh, files uh, ready, and uh, we just need to run those uh, files and get the, framework, get the results. Great, any question? Um, so we're done for this uh, today. Uh, any question? And then Li Pei, if folks are having trouble uh, with the compilation, should we direct them to the Slack channel? Yes, please. Uh, yes, if you have any issues, please ask uh, on the Slack channel. We will help you to, to, to deal with the issues. Okay, great. Uh, I think we are, we are good. Okay, okay th thanks. Thank you. All right, so we're, we'll break for 10 minutes and come back at, I don't know which time zone do, uh, I guess it's 11, 11 o'clock Eastern time zone. Uh, so we'll see, see you all in 10 minutes and then we'll have the uh, lectures on, on the smash code.